so i was really really excited to try out my first ashray be like for my look and currently i was on route to my aunt's place this was my first time traveling within lagos alone i was so happy that i had like a passenger princess experience only i was at the back after a while i was so so happy and yeah my bucket hat is so cute then the first errand i was sent on was to grind pepper see my aunt almost cut that day then they were like killing the cows i felt bad for the cows but i was so excited to eat one of the things i learned from my aunt's wedding is that the gathering like the tours the before is like a big gathering the elders come especially the females they sing that's when the wedding preparation starts like exactly so i was in charge of like frying dodo for everyone and yeah this is just me frying the dodo so afterwards it's just like me frying the plantain and yes we also ate fried meat i really enjoyed the meal then i started enjoying myself i followed my aunt to this hotel this was like my first hotel experience and i was having so much fun you can notice how happy i was hey guys so i'm in the hotel room with my aunt she has actually gone to check her husband's hotel room so we have picked the best yes uh, let me do like a mirror selfie and a tour of how the room looks like it looks really cute So at this point, I had seen like previous vlogs where people like show like this type of angle when filming in an hotel. So I wanted to try it out. Nothing really special. I just felt like filming this, and I really was enjoying that. The place was really well lit up, and I also where people go for vacations because it was a really relaxing moment for me. I just finished my IT like the week before, so it was like I was on holiday, although it was for a wedding. And yeah, I really had a lot of fun. And yeah, this is like the cleansing routine I was talking about. I love 
using my simple cleanser and it works so well and one thing i also love about life nowadays is that any place that has like constant supply of water just makes life easy in terms of cooking bathing trying to film content like i don't know if there's just this type of ease that comes with it this night i was just on cloud nine One thing about traditional weddings you also need to know is that Friday morning, even though the traditional wedding is not to 12, like time flies so much and that time that is from like 8 p.m to 11 p.m a lot can happen like a lot so my aunt was looking so beautiful the videographer did not arrive early so i had to be a videographer for the meantime since i wanted to like vlog so you're going to be getting the traditional vlog which is going to come up after this then you're also going to be getting like bridal shower and the white wedding vlog so this is like just the day before the wedding itself so for our wedding makeup i really loved how she looked for a traditional this woman the makeup artist and her apprentice they actually had like a, a mini argument but that was one of my own business my own business was that my hands should look really good and the fact that a makeup artist could also do frontals it was just like really amazing to me like everything was coming together because me this was my first time seeing an install like up close so i was really scared that hey the morning of the traditional wedding hope it is not like this woman will not get this thing but as god we have it everything was looking like really really good my aunt was like happy all her preparations were working out at this point and one thing you also need to know you can hear early morning prayers of pastor jerry easy um what god cannot do does not exist my aunt listens to him every morning whether we're late for work or not so on our wedding day i was actually not surprised that she was listening to him so make sure for your wedding please if you do not pray normally pray for your wedding it's really important because everything can go wrong because even with like the wedding plan and everything you can see she was still on calls doing a lot of things at the bride <laughs> So finally, the makeup artist arrived and nearly came. We already done with the air. I think this was already around 8:39, and I was so surprised that it was a male. I actually knew that a wedding, a white wedding, was going to be a male, but I didn't know that the traditional wedding was going to be a male and it was actually still the same guy for the traditional wedding like the makeup was just like really beautiful like the process looked scary because at one point i was even like signaling to her that like the um, foundation is looking a bit too bright but when everything was set on her face it was perfect and let me tell you don't need to have the whole world though look at his makeup starch standard products you can even see some nigerian products younger beauty and the likes and he got it so well and yes in the previous clips you could see that the hair stylist made sure she ate before she left omolomo she had already taken her bread and tea along with her she couldn't come and kill herself and uh, yeah as tradition most brides don't eat like the morning of their wedding so me i ate at lunch at breakfast i mean and it's amazing so this is the place where right, they've already done like the skin prep and all of that and it was shaving her eyebrows just getting everything to look 
really really good she was really really relaxed because if it was me like this i i know i was like half like a planner because i know myself at times i'm not really that relaxed but i love the way everything was just like moving and we're able to get like things done on time although the videographers had not yet still come so let me tell you vendors can disappoint they will give quality later on, but they can disappoint so make sure you always have a standby so for your wedding i would advise that if you have like a relative that can also take like a personal videography of you so that even if you do not have like a professional shoot in case maybe your videographer doesn't come early you have like memories down so this to me was me creating memories for her and also creating content for myself so it just worked hand in hand and yeah that is what we are at at the video so let's continue <laughs> one thing you don't want to get wrong is your makeup on your wedding day you want to have like a flawless bit and as you can see it really got a skin tone i was even like surprised because when it was first adding like the foundation layers and everything everything was looking too white to me but by the time it was done she looked so 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 beautiful don't worry you are going to be seeing the final look in the next like vlog but another thing i also want you to know about like wedding that i did not know is that you have to cater for your train especially if they are like flying in for another place it's i always thought that people would be the one to like sort out their accommodation and all of that but no that's not it and that's her husband at the back he was already tired because we, like we see it was on the phone calls they were trying to like sort out feeding for their friends that came so it was just really a lot because even the next wedding like series i'm going to also show you i'm going to let you know a lot of more in-depth things because this is my aunt's wedding the next one is a much more closer person to me which is like my sister so i got to see a lot of back end things than i did in my aunt's wedding so i just got to experience like wedding in new form and by this time when we were already halfway through the makeup the photographers came and they were doing their thing to be quite honest the photographers were really chilled and let me tell you photographers are very fine you know? hey forget like their online profile they are really fine in real life but majority of them are married so i beg close your eyes but nonetheless they really did it well and this is how like they get all those like videography photography a lot really goes into it so i really see why they collect a lot of money because they have like all the gadgets the lights and they also employ like assistants then at this point i want to ask my aunt if she was able to see because i don't know i'm not a fan of lashes and the lashes looked a lot but i was informed that the lashes are necessary for the look to 
pop the first time i tried out lashes my eyes were watering so much but i hope like the next time i try it out i have like a much more pleasant experience so this was a uh, maid of honor the lady was just so peaceful she was so nice calm and she was really doing the job of a maid and honor of a maid of honor yes uh yeah that is all for like the first video in this wedding series i hope you enjoyed it the next one is going to be about the traditional wedding itself i am going to show you how we parted like yoruba people this was my first like real experience of a traditional Owambe party and I enjoyed myself. So make sure you check that out. It will be coming out most likely next week also on Friday and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. <laughs>